Hello, in this lecture we will complete the comprehensive problem by completing the closing process. So up until this point we have done the adjusting journal entries. These are the transactions that happen during the month. We did it in form of a journal entry. We then posted it to the general ledger and then that created the trial balance here. Of course that was all through the month of May recording the transactions and we then did the adjusting process over here. So we took the unadjusted trial balance from the prior tab we then made adjustments to it so that we had an adjusted trial balance that we could use to make the financial statements with because it was on an accrual basis at that point. Then we took that adjusted trial balance and created the financial statement. So here's that old adjusted trial balance. Here's the financial statements in the form of balance sheet income statement, statement of owner's equity. Now this month we're assuming May has closed now and we want to think about the idea that these accounts that are temporary being the income statement and draws need to be closed out start over so that we can then um, move into the next month and record the activity for the next month so we're going to go to the closing tab here's the closing tab and we have our same information we have the adjusted trial balance on this side that's where we're going to start and we're going to post our adjustments in this case our closing adjustments until we get to the closing trial balance What's our goal for the closing trial balance? It will be that the temporary accounts being the income statement and uh, the draws need to go to zero basically. And why would that be the case? Well, if we think about income, when you say how much does someone earn, you basically have to say what time frame are you talking about? So if I asked you how much money do you make, you have to assume, well, what do you mean a year? Do you mean a month? Do you mean an hour? And that is the same for this income which was earned last month and if we want to see how much we're going to earn this month then we need to make that go back to zero and start at the beginning of the month and count up from there so in theory we're going to do that by closing these out where are we going to put it ultimately in the capital account so you can think of the end process of this whole process is basically making all this account um, one number which is going to be 14640 and putting it into the capital account so that basically all the blue numbers will be one number and that will be 56,940 which by the way if we go back to the trial balance on the financial statements I should say uh, that will be this 56,940 the Indian capital account that will be this 56,940 so we're going to uh, create basically a trial balance that only has the balance sheet accounts in it all right, so we're going to post these trial, these journal entries. They're all going to be as of the end of the month, 531. Now, obviously, we're going to do this sometime after the end of the month, but uh, we want to post them as of the end of the month because clearly it is sometime in June right now because we had to close out all the journal entries. We had to make the financial statements and whatnot, and now we're doing the closing process at this time. You also note that we made this new account called an income summary account. We're going to use that account and close this out in basically a four step process for a couple of reasons. One, it might be easier to see the, the processes. It, it'll make those journal entries shorter and it'll give us kind of a check figure to see if it's correct before we finish the closing process. So in that process, first, we're going to close out the revenue account. And basically what we want to do is make the revenue account zero. So I'm going to make this a little larger here. And so we're going to do whatever we have to do to make that account zero. It's got a credit balance in it of 36800 How do we make something go down? We do the opposite thing to it as what it is. So that has a credit in it. Therefore, we're going to debit it to make it go down because that's the opposite thing to it as what it is. So I'm going to copy that. We're going to put that right on top in C5 right here. And it's going to be debit, right click, and paste it one, two, three, just the values. If you paste over here, it'll paste the format. We just want the values. The amount will be this 36800 because that is what's in there. That's what we need to make it go to zero. In this case, we're going to have only have one other account, which will be a credit. So I'm going to put that in there. Negative 36800. I'm going to put it in the credit column, but more importantly, represent it with brackets and credits for the purposes of this Excel worksheet. And that net amount is going to go into our new account, this income summary. So we're closing the uh, income into the income summary. I'm going to copy that, right click, copy. Going to put that in C6, right click and paste it one, two, three. All right, then let's post this out and see if it does what we want it to do. What do we want it to do? Have the revenue account go to zero. 
All right, so we're gonna put our cursor in I18 equals, and then I'm just gonna to point to that. I'm gonna post this into that middle column. And once we hit enter, let's see what happens. Takes this down to zero, puts us out of balance. Now we'll post the other side of it into the income summary in I17 equals, and I'm gonna to point to this income summary. It's gonna take us from zero up to the 36. So now we've closed out this number, which we wanted to do, and we just dumped it in the income summary just for a holding account as of now. So next transaction will be as of 531 as well, of course. And now we need to close out the expense accounts. Note that all the other expense accounts are expense accounts. So expense accounts, there's usually a lot of them, but they are